evening, good evening, good evening. You're at the right place at exactly the right time. Well done. This is the only show bringing you half an hour of the most intense inter-school quizzing action on TV. The Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. As always, I'm your host, Mohan Kapoor. Come, join me as we celebrate the immense knowledge these young contenders have amassed through a passion for learning. To possess passion is to succeed. The Latin term passionem was an extreme notion meaning suffering or enduring. While there'll be no suffering, our teams have surely had to endure many hours of study and preparation. It is this passion that has brought our challengers here today. Come, together, let's meet them. Welcome our own English high school, Abu Dhabi. Please give us your introductions. My name is Bala Murli Krishna. I'm in grade 10 from our own English high school, Abu Dhabi. Welcome, and you are? My name is Savya Sachi Jayakumar and I study in grade 10 of the Arun English High School. Oh, wonderful. You all have prepared for four days. Was that all the time you got or is that all the time you need? It's all the, all the time, time that you got because four days after the preliminary round. Oh, but you all don't prepare for a quiz that you know that is coming up? Okay. Well, we did, but we were, we were preoccupied by our academics. So. Okay, hopefully that will also come in handy, right? Yeah. Welcome and all the very best. Jumeirah College, Dubai. Hi, welcome. Please give us your introductions. Hello, I'm Zain Lukmanji. I'm from Grade 10, Jumeirah College. Hi, I'm Scott Shepherd. I'm from Grade 8 in Jumeirah College. Welcome, welcome. Scott, I have been given to believe that your weak area is the Indian stuff, as they've put it, right? And you've been preparing all your life? Well, you amass knowledge all your life, so I feel it's just a culmination of that. I think we should give him 10 points just for that answer. Well said. All the very best to both of you and welcome Dubai American Academy, Dubai. Please give us your introductions. My name is Felipe Cuellar. I'm in 10th grade in Dubai American Academy. You are? Hi, I'm Shitit Seth. I'm also in 10th grade and I'm also studying Dubai American Academy. It's very interesting. I've been given to believe that you have not prepared at all. And you, Shitit, you play golf and the piano. It's a wonderful life you lead. I wish I could swap places with you. So tell me, quizzing is part of your uh, laid-back lifestyle or...? Surely, we participate in our school and quiz team as well, so... Okay, and how have you been faring so far? Well, we won the MESAC competition, so I suppose pretty well. Well done, and how does that stack up in front of our contest, the Max Star Quiz Challenge? I believe that the Max Star Quiz Challenge will provide much more of a challenge to us then. I'm the sure MESAC it will, I'm sure it will, and I wish you all the very best, won't it? What a treat it is having these young, budding talents in our midst. I, for one, am very keen to get going, and I'm sure they are too. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So let's begin our first round, which is brought to you by Malabar Chef, which is the all-action general knowledge round, which we call Rapid Fire. Rules for round one, Rapid Fire. Six direct questions per team. In case you're not sure of the answer, say pass and we'll come back to the question if time permits. Five points for a correct answer, no negative points, 45 seconds to answer all questions. Clear? Any confusion? Maybe begin. Our own English High School Abu Dhabi, this one starts with you. Question one. Which is the fastest swimming fish in the world? The sailfish. Absolutely right. Question two. Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet. Which is the last, Zeta or Omega? Zeta. Incorrect. Question three. What is the topmost layer of the sun visible to naked eyes called? Corona. Corona is incorrect. Question four. Tribuan Airport is the international airport of which country? Sri Lanka. Incorrect. Question five. The new employees in which company are called Nooglers? Google. Time. Sorry? Google. Google. You said Google. I'm going to give it to you. It was bang on the time, but I'm going to give it to you. Google. That was right. All right. Team B, Jumeirah College, Dubai. All the very best. Nice to see smiling faces when the questions are coming up. Question number one. What mirror inside a car helps the driver to see things behind him or her? Rearview mirror. Rearview mirror is right. Question two. Who wrote the books Aids to Scouting and Scouting for Boys? Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls? No. Question three. Jimmy Connors is a famous former player in which sport? 
baseball. Jimmy Connors, baseball incorrect. The SI unit of work is named after which English scientist? Isaac Newton. Incorrect. A vermicide is used for controlling worms. True or false? False. false. Incorrect. Six. Chinooks, sock eye, chum, coho, and pinks are types of which fish? Salmon. Absolutely right. Well done, well done, well done. Good attempt, good beginning. Hope for the best for the next rounds. But for now, Dubai, American Academy Dubai. Your rapid fire round, six questions in 45 seconds. Question one. What is the common term for a spring of water heated by geothermal energy? Geezer, geezer. Geezer. Absolutely right. Question two. In 1995, which car company introduced the F50 supercars? Mercedes or Ferrari? Ferrari. Absolutely right. Question three. Ferdinand Magellan sailed under the flags of two countries. One was Spain. Which was the other? Portugal. Absolutely right. Question four. The tale of Genji, the first ever major literary work by a woman, is from which country? India. Incorrect. Question five. What is Getter Fix's profession in the Asterix comics? Druid. Absolutely right. Question six. In the English nursery rhyme, Little Jack Horner, what did Jack Horner pull from his pie? Pigeons. Incorrect. Not too many fireworks there, but it has begun and there's lots more to come. Plenty of time to play catch up. When all of you go on to college, you're going to have to specialize. Am I right? Yes. And that is the name of the game as we give them now a choice of subjects in this round. Brought to them by Skyline University College. Come boys, let's play categories. Rules for round two, categories. We will start with the lowest scoring team. Each team gets to choose only one category out of six. Ten points for a correct answer. If the team does not know the answer, then the question passes on to the next team for ten points. Ten seconds to answer a direct question, five seconds to answer a past question. Any doubts? Any ambiguity? Can we begin? Okay, as per my records, my lowest scoring team for now, our own English high school Abu Dhabi, I'm beginning with you. In categories, the six categories being posed to you for now are languages, human body, birds, science, history, and politics. What category do you choose to be quizzed on? Languages. languages. Languages it is, and your question for languages for 10 points is as follows. Among the official languages of Singapore, which one is also the official language of Sri Lanka? Sinhali. Incorrect. Jumeirah College, Dubai, for 10 points, would you like to hazard a guess in five seconds? English. Incorrect. Dubai American Academy, Dubai. Nobody gets that. It is Tamil. Okay, moving on to Jumeirah College, Dubai. The categories left for you to choose from are five in number, which are human body, birds, science, history, and politics. What do you choose? History. History it is. And your question is as follows. Which ancient country had 11 kings called Ramses. Egypt. Absolutely right. Well done. 10 points to you. Dubai American Academy, Dubai. Four categories left for you, which are human body, birds, science, and politics. 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 Interesting. The question. Name the only two members in the G8 group from the Americas. The United States of America. Canada. Well done. Well done, Felipe. Well done. Let's take a few minutes to fix ourselves up for the coming rounds. We'll see you in a moment or two right back here on Star Plus. Welcome back to the UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. And this is what the competing teams desire. The Crystal Star Quiz Challenge Rolling Trophy. Did you know that the center of Earth was once thought to be a single 1,500 mile wide iron crystal? Well, that has been proven to be false, but it may be an aggregate of smaller iron crystals. Sometimes grouping together, like these pairs here, can achieve greatness. Before we move into the third round, let's take a look at the scores as of now. Standing at second runner-up position, we have our own English high school Abu Dhabi with 10 points. 
Don't lose heart. The game has begun. You've started. You've got three rounds to go. Anything can happen, okay? All the best. Jumeirah College, Dubai, first runner-up with 20 points. <laughs> Same for you. Buck up. Keep it up. All the best. Dubai American Academy, Dubai, 30 points. The scoring is low, but the energy is high and the quotient of intelligence is soaring. I'm hoping for some fireworks now. There's no rest for the gifted as we plow straight on with our third round, the Max Starcade. Rules for round three, Starcade. Each team gets an assigned question, which is a series of clues on a thing, a place, personality, event, monument or animal. The first clue is the max clue, worth 20 points. If the team misses or answers incorrectly, they get a second clue worth 10 points. If the team still misses or passes, they get a third clue worth 5 points. Questions do not pass in this round. Are we ready? All right. Our own English high school, Abu Dhabi, I'm beginning with you. And your clue one for 20 points is the unique lighting system for this local monument was designed to reflect the phases of the moon. Taj Mahal? Taj Mahal? Taj Mahal is incorrect. Let me give you another clue. Your second clue for 10 points, the largest monument of its kind in the UAE has 82 domes of various sizes. Grand Mosque. Sorry? The Grand Mosque. I'll give it to you. It's the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. Well done. Ten points in the kitty for you. See, it's working. Jumeirah College, Dubai. Are we ready? All right. I'm going to give you your max clue one for 20 points, which is this chess piece moves horizontally and vertically any number of squares forwards or backwards. The Queen. No. For 10 points, I'll give you clue two. Formerly, this piece was called tower or rector. Bishop. Incorrect. Clue three. I'm going to show you a picture. For five points, take a look and tell me what is it. A knight. Knight, a rook. Well done, five points. Jumeirah College, Dubai. Collecting in the kitty, slow and steady. Don't worry. Don't worry, it'll all happen. Dubai American Academy. Dubai, are we ready for your max clue number one? Mm -hmm. For 20 points, tell me. Pete Best was the drummer of this group who was replaced by Richard Stark. Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. Incorrect. Clue two for 10 points. This legendary music band earned the nickname Fab Four. Kiss. No, that's incorrect too. Why don't you have a look at this picture, which is your third clue for five points. Hopefully you get this one. The Beatles. The Beatles it is. Sorry about that. Great bands, though. The ones that you named, they were great bands, but not right for you for this round. Okay, that round certainly cranked things up a bit. I think we better move on straight away to keep this momentum going. See here, people. That's right. See and hear. Now we have the audio-visual round for all our teams to get their teeth into, brought to you by none other than Signal. Rules for round four, audio-visual round. You will either be shown a picture or hear an audio clip, followed by a question. A total of three questions, one question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not know the answer or gets it wrong. 10 points and 10 seconds for a direct question, 5 points and 5 seconds for a passed on question. No negative marks. Well, we're ready? Our own English high school Abu Dhabi, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, for you, I have an audio clip. Have a listen, then I'll pose the question to you. Identify the musical instrument. The mouth organ? Absolutely right. Harmonica or mouth organ. You're up next, Jumeirah College, Dubai. For you, I have a visual clue. All right, take a look 
and then I'll ask you the question. Identify the professional sport. Greyhound racing. Absolutely right. Well done. Well done. Greyhound racing. Ten points. Dubai American Academy, Dubai. For you, I have a visual too. Have a look. Now this is the first postage stamp issued by which country? Great Britain. Absolutely right. Well done, Felipe. Well done, all of you. Well done. What a stupendous round that was. As we weigh down on the final round, like Kasparov up against a chess-playing robot, we have a real battle of intellects. There's still one more round to find today's champions, so don't you think about moving an inch. Stay tuned for the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015, only here on your favorite channel, Star Plus, the pulse of South Asians in the Middle East. <laughs>《Holidays》and your favorite movie. All good things must come to an end. But for now, you can join us for the final round in today's Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. Over the past few weeks, we've been buzzing to the sound of interesting facts and decent sportsmanship. Our teams are only going to add to that right now with our final round for this episode, which we call At the Buzzer. Rules for round five At the Buzzer. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while it's being read. The team hitting the buzzer must answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. Ten points for a correct answer, minus five points for an incorrect answer or no answer after hitting the buzzer. Are we ready? Yeah. Six questions. Coming up, this is the first. Name the probe that the Rosetta spacecraft dropped on the comet. The probe is, um... Explorer. Sorry? The Explorer. Incorrect. Question two. In 2014, which social media activity was used to promote awareness of ALS? Ice Bucket Challenge. Absolutely right. Ice Bucket Challenge. You lost five, you got ten, so, so far you've got just five. Question three, are we ready? Team A, Team B. This is also for y'all. Question three. If Moto G topped the list of Google's most searched tech devices in 2014, which was placed second? Yes, our own English high school, Abu Dhabi. She's here, mate. I'm afraid that's incorrect. Sorry about that. Question four. Currently, ZMAP appears to be the best drug candidate to tackle Ebola. Jumeirah College Dubai has hit it and you say it's Ebola. Are you sure? Yes. You're right. Well done. Ebola it is. Question five. Which emirate is served by Mina Sucker Port? Which emirate is served by Mina Sucker Port? Moving on, question six, the last question. Which British navigator was the first to circumnavigate the two islands of New Zealand in se Dubai, American Academy, Dubai? James Cook. Absolutely right. <laughs> Looks like my goose is cooked. So the scores for today are as follows. At second runner-up position with a not so great score, but a great sense of participation and sportsmanship. We have our own English high school, Abu Dhabi, with 25 points. All the very best for the future. At first runner-up position, Jumeirah College, Dubai, with 45 points. Gallandervert, but Dubai, American Academy, have done stupendously well with 60 points. Super lead, super lead, well done. Well done. It took so much to get here. So really, you're all winners. You're all winners. Dubai American Academy, Dubai, have just edged it, okay? Now, as I hand out the star knowledge crystals to all of you, I want you to take these five Fs on board. Go forth, fellows, with fortitude, ferocity, and fearlessness. Now, 
Time for one for you at home. Despite its now world-beating technological infrastructure, did you know the UAE's first color television broadcast was only in 1974, 20 years after the inaugural one in the US? Well, that's it for this week. But we're inching closer to that all-important finale. And who knows which direction this intriguing tale will take. But I'm sure you'll be there to witness it right here on Star Plus. Until next week, this is me, Mohan Kapoor, bidding you all goodbye. And you definitely need to stay smart.